Let's figure out to have a home in the office or at school, a revolutionary, environmentally friendly device, which is useful in daily life and allows us to save money and to stimulate our creativity. Everyone knows what a printer is, but very few know that there are now 3D printers. And even less people know that some of them are open source and that nowadays the most advanced models of these printers have come to the point of being able to print almost anything, even houses and human organs. The Zeigas Movement Italy and Open Source Ecology Italy plan to build two open source 3D printers to be used for demonstrations in public and schools on Naples and Milan in order to raise awareness on public's opinion on the collaborative open source philosophy. A 3D printer is a machine that layer by layer builds a reproduction of an object in three dimensions using a software. The model they will make is called Prusa RepRap, a printer that not only is able to build spare parts and objects of daily use, but is also capable of reproducing itself. The advantages of 3D printers that we can build with your help are independence from the market of multinational corporations, that often result in a lack of transparency, unethical and unenvironmentally friendly disposition. Avoid planned obsolescence, phenomenon in which the goods are produced in order to wear out and to be repurchased periodically. Decentralization of production. By locating the production, we can avoid the problem of goods in excess and the one connected to their transport and storage, which involves high cost, use of fossil fuels, energy waste and pollution. With 3D printers, anyone can print their everyday tools or spare parts of devices that would otherwise be broken and go to the waste dump and would also be able to recycle parts of old printers and PCs to build wrap wraps. The files of the project to be built are easily accessible for free on special platform in Creative Commons or at a minimum cost and if you do not find what you're looking for, you can make it by yourself by using free softwares and open source modeling and drawing guides which again are simple and free. Wrap wraps can auto replicate up to 70%. Plastics, washers, and bolts that are needed to make one can be printed and given for free. The materials that we'll use are PLA, biodegradable bioplastic polymer, ABS, polymer plastic recycled through another open source device, the Philabot. In order to do all this, we need you. Please, help us to promote and spread these revolutionary tools to make them available to everyone. Making concrete and tangible a new lifestyle. Efficient, forward-looking and environmentally friendly. Hi guys, I'm Vincenzo Barbato, member of the National Coordination of the Zeitgeist Movement Italy. I'm a student, freelance journalist, writing mainly about science, technology, ecology and education. Since I've been in Zeitgeist Moment, I've spread tools that will help humanity to transition from market economy to a resource-based economy by increasing the human potential that is present in all of us. So, I decided to take on this challenge because I think that building and generally make is the best way to show to the people who we are and what we want, being the change we want to see in the world. Thank you and good life. Hi, I'm David Gaudi, coordinator of the Milan chapter and of the other Italian cities chapters of the Zegas movement. I've been promoting the open source and open hardware for two years, and some practical demonstration to show how to print ordinary tools with a wrapper would be of a great help to make people see and understand that open source already exists and works very really well. It's just a matter of knowing it and using it. Your app will be very important. Ciao a tutti, sono Jacopo Amestani, il fondatore di Open Source Ecology Italia. È un anno che ormai siamo attivi sul territorio nazionale, abbiamo già raggiunto importanti risultati. Pensiamo veramente che questo progetto possa aiutarci a dare un impatto nuovo e provi a fare la differenza in questa situazione che ci sta caratterizzando di crisi. Noi vogliamo fare qualcosa per cambiare le cose e pensiamo di riuscirci così.